2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The 2K Sports pregame show. For tonight's game, we'll be watching Louisville as they go up against the visiting team. Checking out the visiting team. They feel like they have a lot of potential, but they're struggling right now. Some people on the outside have questioned their effort. Internally, they say that's not an issue. They just haven't played their best ball. Kenny, every year it seems like the standings early on look very different by season's end. Overachieving teams often start fast, you know, and they get some effort wins. And then it kind of evens out. But, you know, talent catches up eventually. And overconfident teams sometimes start slow. They find out they're not as good as they thought. But once you get humbled, you tend to play with a higher sense of urgency. Great basketball philosophy from the Diesel and the Jet. I appreciate that. Just right. humbled to be in between you two yeah. guys. As long as you're not overachieving, because you'll be confident. Here's Kevin Harlan. Hello, and thanks for joining us, folks, for this midweek NBA action on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan with you, joined by Doris Burke, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge reporting courtside. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And you know right now for the visiting team, they're moving in the wrong direction. The good news, though, it's still early in the season. A lot of games left to be played. Plenty of time to turn things around. Now the starting group for the visitors. Harris is out there with the general. Then there's Edwards. Then there's A-Train. And it's Hammonds in at the four slot. And for the Cardinals, we've got Williams. Dub is out there with the natural. Then there's Williamson. And it's Fresh in at the point guard. Doris, what do you think it's like for a team coming into a new season with a new head coach? You know what's fascinating to me is each individual organization, Kevin, seems to have their own vernacular, their own verbiage to describe their system. So with a new coach, number one, he's putting in a system. Number two, the guys are trying to familiarize themselves with his language, not only the X's and O's, but how does he communicate? And yet, right, right, that's a good point. The delivery of the message is sometimes as important as the as the X's and O's. No doubt. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. good on the second free throw. Uncharacteristic trip to the line for him. Just lost his feel on those shots. Here's the natural. Knocks it loose. Five on the clock. It's blocked. And they'll keep possession. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Here's the general. He's covered by Fresh. A-Train. Williams with the block. Pass to the natural. Poked away. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Here's Edwards. Williams with the block. And he recovers it. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim.
Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Now fresh. Down low. A shot by Williams. No good. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table. The ability to anchor your defense. The visitors with the ball. And here's Edwards. He's coming off a 13-point game again. Down to five on the shot clock. And Edwards with the stuff. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now here's Fresh. Here's Williams, and he banks in the layup. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Here is Edwards. Louisville getting their last shot to go. It's tipped. And the natural is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Well, just a little too physical out there right now. That's already his second foul. Smooth checked in for the Cardinals. Now here is Edwards. Guarded close. And the rebound goes to Louisville. Hey, they, they had their opportunities, but let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way on the road. Well, you know this, Greg, because you played in the NBA. You've got to stand in and deliver from the free throw line, even in a tough environment, and they failed to do so. Now here's Williams. Louisville shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. He misses the free throw. So he comes up empty at the line. Here's A-Train. Count the basket. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Williamson, the pass to Fresh. And the call will be against Harris. That is his first foul of the game. Pass to Williamson. Boy, just one for four. A little brisky right now. And no good that time. Here's Edwards. No good. And the Cardinals going the other way now. And the last time they were able to come away with that win because of their depth. Great production from the reserves. I think sometimes the bench can make or break you in a particular game. And that was a total team effort. No question. Here's the general. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Can't connect from short range. 
Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. And now it's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best fast break teams from a season ago. Yeah, I mean, it's a crowd pleasing style, right? I mean, this club just got out and ran at every possible chance. The Cardinals shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid numbers. That one is off. Tease checked in for the general. And he's good on the second. the pass to a train he lobs up the alley -oop pass and now here comes Williams leading the break and foul on the shot so he'll get a chance at the line the Cardinals shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game He's off on the first. He doesn't get the second one. Absolutely stone cold at the line thus far. Passes to T from 13. Here's Hammonds. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Fresh the pass to Sutton. There's the pass to Williams. And it's blocked. And he's able to get it back. Clock is at three. Here's Sutton. I said again. And that one is good. Williams has got his second bucket. Well, just it's easy to say. This guy wanted it more. Creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. Pass to A-Train. And here's Edwards. Connects on the open J. Edwards got six. You know, it seemed to me they were shying away from a foul there. The D still has to be a little bit more physical than that. He's got to feel you. Here's Smooth. No good with the layup. Harris with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And it's blocked. They get it back. T, he's covered by Fresh. T, the pass to Hammonds. Here's Edwards. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his sixth rebound on the night. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Here's Williamson. Here's Smooth, and he uses the glass on the way. You're fighting to keep the possession alive, something this guy does so well. As you and I were just talking about this, as more and more players are going public with their trade requests, do you think that's had a negative impact on the game? 
Well, Kevin, I certainly think it makes long-term planning for NBA franchises a lot more difficult because contractually we are not seeing them hold true to the particular organization they may have signed that contract with. The reality is this in today's NBA. You've got to be nimble as an organization and you have got to be attractive to them. And I mean that with great ownership, great leadership. And who are the players currently in your system? You have got to be incredibly nimble to be successful in today's NBA. I think you're right on. Now here's Prez. Passes it to Jay. The shot comes out. And you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Insanity, the pass to Johnson. It's blocked. Here's Cowboy. And the pass to T. Three-pointer. Hits the three-point bomb. And boy, have they come out strong, really pounding the offensive board for second-chance points. Now here's Prez. He's tightly guarded from the arc. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. T the pass to Walton. No good. Shot missing. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Johnson, the pass to Smooth. Second chance shot, and Johnson with the lay-in good. Well, what a job. Punching the ball to the interior and finishing in the paint. Nice. Brown outside. Here's T, and it's denied. Pass to Johnson. And it's blocked by Brown. T the pass to Cowboy. And he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. To the inside. Here's Brown. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And the missed free throw starting to be an issue. This is his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw missing. Red Hot is checked in for Johnson. And the second free throw, good. Louisville trails by four. There's Red Hot. Pass to Perry. 41 seconds left to play in the first. Passes it to Smooth. And it's blocked by Brown, and he gets it back. Louisville passing it around. Six to shoot. Louisville needs to get off a shot. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Yeah. 
keeping a pretty distressing 27% here in the early minutes. Here's T. That shot is off. And that does it for the first quarter. The away team up by four and will return shortly. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Well, look at the turnover ratio, then look at the score. Easy to see what happened in that first period. Well, offensively, they took care of the ball. And defensively, they forced a number of miscues. Louisville trails by four. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court right now for the Cardinals. The natural out there with Jay. Then there's Insanity. Then there's Jay. And it's Red Hot in at the two guard. Four on the clock. And there's the pass to Insanity. A lot of players have taken their game to another level. A lot of improvement they've done individually. Any surprises uh, that have caught your eye, Doris, over the years? Yeah, I would say probably the maybe the greatest single individual leap I've ever seen is by the reigning most improved player, and that's Pascal Siakam couldn't get in the rotation consistently in the postseason and then became such an integral part of an NBA championship team. Kemba Walker, who is an all-star caliber player, all NBA level guy, continues to stay in the lab and keep improving. So a ton of guys, DeMontis Sabonis, another young big who's been incredible. Uh, just great to see guys progress. First free throw is good. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Just 26% out there, a terrible showing from an offense capable of much better. Here's the general. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Pass to the natural. Here's insanity. Here's the natural. Eight points his last outing to the middle. Pass to Jay. It's blocked, and the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Hammonds, he's checked in for A train. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Pass to Walton. To the paint here's Brown and then Brown with the dunk the D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim there's a reason GA the lead is what it is right now I tell you you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work here's the natural and a lot of contact on that one so he'll shoot two here first trip to the line for him here First free throw is good. Williams, he's checked in for the Cardinals. Dub comes in for Jay. And he can't hit the second. We get a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. Williams with the block. And it's out of bounds. 
they say it was last touched by Williams. Here's the general. The pass to Edwards. Just five on the clock. Beyond the arc. That shot off. And the Cardinals going the other way now. The natural, the pass to Jay. And the call will be against Red Hot. That is his first foul of the game. Fresh is checked in for the Cardinals. Side Williams misses off the right iron. Gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Here's Hammonds, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Louisville on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, he'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. Doris, you've accomplished so much in your award-winning career. What was your first experience in broadcasting? Kevin, my first experience was I left coaching, and they put Providence College women's basketball on radio. That was the first ever game I got to call. It was so cool. Uh, tell me yours. What was the very first? Did you study this? How did you get into broadcasting? I did. Our high school at a radio station, and the first basketball broadcast was underneath the bleachers, looking through popcorn boxes and legs of the people uh, that were standing in the bleachers so that I could see the court from the basement. Amazing. Because that's where the that's where the telephone cables were to plug in our equipment. Wow. I was uh, 16 years old. Incredible. I remember it very well. Incredible. Very well. <laughs> now here is Harris. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Cowboy passes to the general. Kicks to Harris. Just five to shoot. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. <laughs> Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Louisville trails by seven. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Fresh. Williams against Edwards. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. For Louisville, they've had a disappointing game so far from the line. Only three free throws made. And he knocks down the first one. And Louisville making a change here. Williamson's checked in. <laughs> and 
and Williams drops them both. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Here's the general. He's covered by Fresh. Passes it to Edwards. Five to shoot. From outside the arc, Williams with the block. Over Edwards. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. Here's the general. Pass to Edwards. Harris looking it over. Let's it go from deep. And the rebound goes to Louisville. Williams has got seven rebounds in the game. He kicks it to Williamson. Back to Williams. And he lays it straight in. Williams has got four points in the quarter. They are just killing him on the interior. Now here is Harris. The pass to the general. Inside. Now here is Edwards. Defense right on him. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Williams. Johnson, he's checked in for Dove. Clock at two. Here's Harris. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got eight rebounds in this game. The natural, the pass to Fresh. Here's the natural, guarded by Harris. Feeds it to Williamson. The natural, the pass to Williamson. Johnson, that's for two. Again, the Cardinals score. Johnson, how about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. Yeah, and his shot selection, iffy at best tonight. A lot of forced, contested shots this game. He'll be lucky if he just gets a talking to here instead of a, a ticket to the bench. T's checked in for Harris. Pass to Hammonds. Here's the general. Passes to Hammonds. Five on the clock. Here's the general. And that time, also a missed shot. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. For Louisville, they've really been struggling with their free throws. Only made five. More misses than make so far. That free throw, no good. Smooth checked in for the Cardinals. And he sinks the second. Being a pretty pitiful 25% in this game. Offensively, they can't get anything going. Here's T, got a piece of it, and there's going to be a foul. He definitely made contact with the ball, and in doing so, also got the body, so we'll see free throws here. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Shoot two.
And the first one at the line is good. And the Cardinals making a change here. Prez has checked in. Both good from the line that time. The Cardinals have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. As to Williamson. Here's the natural. Edwards defending. Now Prez. The tray. Rebound by Hammonds. Hammonds got six rebounds here tonight. Here's a train. The offensive rebound. And another shot. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Shooting two. And that one misses. Well, free throw shooting is a constant cause of concern for them. And today, that concern has been front and center. Walton's checked in for the general. They can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. And for Louisville, they're shooting 38% in the second quarter. Offensively, they look a little bit confused. For Louisville, they've really struggled at the line in this one, well under 50% so far. Two, two. No good on that one. He hits the second from the line. So it's the visitors now. And here's Edwards. He has six. And the rebound goes to Louisville. The Naturals got rebound number five here tonight. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. And 23% from the field. That's not going to get it done. Walton with the ball. And it's Johnson picking him up. Over to the wing. T the pass to Walton. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's the pass to Edwards. A miss that time would have put him up. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Now here's Prez. Walton defending. The natural, the pass to Perry. Oh, that's blocked. 146 left now here in the second. Here's Hammonds. That shot missing. And the Cardinals going the other way now. Over in the corner, Prez. Takes the 13-footer. Another miss for him. Now shooting one for four from the floor. Pass to T. Passes it to Edwards. Over Williamson. Edwards, that's good. Edwards got eight. And not his quarter, scoring-wise. Just one of seven from the field. Now here's Prez. He's covered closely. 
the natural the pass to smooth Johnson in the corner they get it again they shoot again and he lays it up and in six points for smooth Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Now here's Walton. No points in the game yet for him. T is guarded by Johnson. Rebound by Johnson. Superb defense, guys. No way he's going to let him get off a clean look at the basket. Here's the natural. Drills the three-pointer. Now it's a four-point Cardinal lead. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Cardinals lead by four. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, for Louisville, Kenny, what did you see from them? Well, there was a big spark from the bench in the first half. Sometimes you're hoping for your reserves to come in and just hold court, but they didn't do that. They actually got better. And Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. I really like how they limited turnovers. You know, they didn't play it too safe. They made some really nice passes. When you can play like this and cut back turnovers, it can add up to over 10, 8, 12, 15, 16. Easy points, Ernie. I don't know how many points. A lot of easy points. They'll be in good shape if they can keep making the same smart plays. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Really an incredible game from the machine. Yeah, he's been nothing short of a wall at the rim so far in this one. Single-handedly providing great rim protection. If he is in the area, he's going to challenge your shot. He's going to block it, alter it. He's going to have an impact. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. A-Train is out there with Hammond. Then there's Harris. Then there's Edwards. And it's the general in at the one. Now here's Fresh. Defense is right there. Now the pass to the natural. Not going to go that time. Some solid defense from Harris. Hammonds passes to the general. Clearly a foul. It's his first trip to the line. Makes the first. He's off on the second. Louisville leading by three. Williamson, the pass to Sutton. And it's blocked. Out of bounds as Louisville keeps possession. Oh. 
Clock at six. That one's good from the corner. The Naturals got the lead up to five now for the Cardinals. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Pass to A-Train. Passes it to the general. Three-pointer. And the ball goes out of play following the shot. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. Here's A-Train. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Now here's Fresh. Guarded by Harris. Shot clock at five. Pass to Fresh. Now here's Williamson. And again, it's Louisville from deep. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. Here's the general and the pass to Edwards. There's another block. And swatting shots away with ferocity. G.A., he is not messing around in this one. And so it looks like it will still be the Cardinals ball. Red Hot, he's checked in for Williamson. The visitors on defense. Trailing here by eight. Pass to the natural. Deflects the pass. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Here's the general. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Passes to Calvin. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. Fresh, the pass to the natural. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. That's off as well, so he misses both. Gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Well, as soon as you recognize a size mismatch, you have to attack. Insanity, he's checked in for Louisville. Cardinals leading by three. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Here's Sutton. And it's blocked. And so it looks like it will still be the Cardinals ball. Shot clock at six. The feed to Williams. 
A shot, no good. Some sour defense from Brown. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Brown's got his second bucket of the night. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Fresh, the pass to Williams. Sutton, he's covered by Brown. Outside, Williams. A fader. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And you can tolerate gaps like that sometimes, but in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. A different look for Louisville. Jays checked in for insanity, and Jays subbed in for fresh. Gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Some firepower from this offense tonight. Yeah, they got a nice groove going right now offensively. Here's the general with the putback. And now this game's taken on a whole new feel since halftime. What energy we're seeing. Something has lit a fire under both of these time teams. Out, so Louisville calls timeout their first. You know, my guess right now is Coach wants to talk over this turnover issue. And it seems like they've been trying to force things a bit and need to find a steady rhythm offensively. Cowboy is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Right side, Williams. Six on the shot clock. Jay, the pass to Williams. Louisville, no good that time either on 4-7 to get things started here in the second half. Harris inside. There's the pass to the general. On loads. Rebound by Williams. That's one he knows he should have drank. Pass to Red. To end the cold streak and block. That one goes careening off the glass. And here's the fast break. Brown wide open. He fired. Kept alive. Off with the layup. You've got to be more aggressive. That kind of soft effort won't get it done. Here's Jay. 11 feet out and he hits it. And the Cardinals lead by one. Third quarter here and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. Pass to Cowboy. Here's the general. Launches it. That one, no good. And for Louisville, they're shooting around 29% from the floor. Tough night for them all around on the offensive end. get another chance out to the wing here's Jay misses the chippy right there well they'll be happy with that look even though it didn't fall I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate now here's Brown he has five here's a train and denied he sends it right off the glass stolen away and it's blocked. And they're running. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. Wow. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the quarter. 
Harris outside. The pass to Cowboy. Here's a train. Just three to shoot. Goes back up. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. good on the free throw a big group substitution here for Louisville smooth checked in for Williams the natural comes in for dub Johnson he's checked in for Red Hot and Prez is subbed in for Jay second free throw no good and for Louisville, they're shooting a terrible 27% from the floor. Boy, an off night for them, to say the least. Oh, that's blocked. And so it looks like it will still be the Cardinals' ball. Edwards, he's checked in for Cowboy. Johnson outside. It's stolen by Edwards. To stop the drought, Johnson with the block. Pass to the natural. And it's blocked by Brown. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touch by Brown. And the Cardinals making a change here. Williamson's checked in. Passes it to Jay. Johnson against Edwards. Just five to shoot. Here's Smooth. It's hauled in by Brown. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. The natural, the pass to Jay. Now here's Williamson. T right on him. And it's blocked by Brown. 133 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's T. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Free throw missing. Fresh is jacked in for Jeff. And it's tied up with that one. Mm, that will sting a little bit. Failing to get the lead when the opportunity was there, but... He does tie it up. Fresh, the pass to the natural. Now, fresh. Here's Smooth. He's got six, and it's blocked by Brown. And Brown throws it down hard. Go into the rack with energy, and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Here's Smooth. The shot from the low post is good. Smooth's got the game tied up here for the Cardinals. Got to recognize the situation, trying to get a two-for-one. Well, this is where the play call is crucial, right? If you're in a two-for-one, you've got to get the first shot quickly. Oh, here's Edwards. Eight points for him. 
Now here's Walton. Tight defense on him. Jacks up a three. And the rebound goes to Louisville. Smooth's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. Edwards passes to Hammonds. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. free throw no good and he's taking care of the hard part tonight which is getting to the line but but he hasn't finished the job once he gets there so neither attempt will fall that time for him. and the misses have piled up for him at the free throw line tonight not at all up to his usual standards it's all tied in Louisville. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And around 24%. Not a good showing here. The natural out there with smooth. Then it's fresh. Then there's Williamson. And it's Sutton in at the three. Yeah, the defender all over. Free throw, no good. That one misses. And for Louisville, they're shooting a pretty pitiful 25% in this game. Offensively, they can't get anything going. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Now here's Edwards. And it's blocked. And the ball ends up out of bounds. No key possession. Pass to Walton. Just five on the clock. Over in the corner, Brown. Good. And it's Walton who picks up the assist. And it's nine points for Boomer. And so it's Louisville with it. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Here's the natural. To the middle. It's tipped. Walton with the steal. The pass to Hammond. Misses from short range. Cardinals with the ball. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Edwards. And that won't go. Missing the go-ahead bucket. And here are the Cardinals. No one near Williamson as he lets it go. It's hauled in by Edwards. Gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. And it's denied. And that's going to be out of bounds. 
And they'll keep possession. A train he's checked in for Brown. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Hammonds kicks to Walton. Lock at six. To take the lead, and it's blocked. Here's the natural. To the left side wing. Tries again, and that one's good. Fresh. And the Cardinals lead by two. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. That's tipped, and he's able to get it back. Takes a three. That one, no good. Now Louisville takes it the other way. It's blocked. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. Free throw, no good. For Louisville, they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. The natural. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Great chemistry between two teammates. Love the passing. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Here's the general. Edwards with it. It's blocked. They retain possession. Just two to shoot. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Williams, he's checked in for the Cardinals. For Louisville, they've gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. Fresh, the pass to the natural. Now, fresh. Outside, Williams. Kicks it to Williamson. Shoots the three. Bangs home the trifecta. Now it's a five-point Louisville lead. You know, you have to like that he's still getting quality touches and delivering now after getting blanked in the first half. Harris up top. Pass to Hammonds. And it's blocked. Now here's Williams. Dishes it to Williamson. Back to Williams. Over Harris. The shot by Williams, no good. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Down low. Here's A Train. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Six points for A Train. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Here's the natural. To the inside, Williamson. Williams kicks to Williamson. Goes up again. And there's the bucket as Williams finishes it off. And the Cardinals lead by five. They continue to be outworked and outmuscled on the backboard. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall.
now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, The Machine. And when he's been on the floor, it has been a clinic in rim protection and shot blocking. He's played the defense of three men tonight. His block total has gotten to a point you almost never see in an NBA game. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, during the break, I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. He was disappointed in the shot selection. He told them, stay patient, run the offense, make the extra pass. You don't have to make up the deficit all at once. Let's see if they start shooting a little better. Kevin? Thank you, David. I mean, even from over here, you could see that one pretty clearly. Shooting two. The first one falls. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Around 24%, not a good showing here. Hammonds passes to Edwards. Harris outside. Passes to Hammonds. Hammonds, it's good on the putback. And the fourth quarter just has not been kind. Only one bucket and five attempts. Now fresh. Now the pass to the natural. Pass to Williams. That shot, no good. And his defense, so valuable. Not many can bobble that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Now here's Williamson. Pass to Fresh. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Edwards. Edwards got rebound number five here tonight. Out to Harris. The three ball. They get it back. Out of bounds. Louisville takes possession. And for Louisville, their shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby. 38%. The natural, the pass to Fresh. Upside Williams, pass to the natural. It's blocked, but they get it back. The pass to Williams, clock at four, and stolen by Harris. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. He misses the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Well, they should be looking at a three-point lead. Hopefully for them, that miss won't cost them. And here's Fresh. Pass to Williams. 
Makes it off the glass. Williams has got it all tied up now for the Cardinals. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. Oh, here is Edwards. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First one drops, and that gives them the lead. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Out in front now, although he left one point on the board right there. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. One thirty-one left in the fourth quarter. second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. To the left wing. From past the arc. And again, it's Louisville from deep. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it, Greg? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Here is Edwards. The Cardinals picked up three with their last shot. It counts. What a beautiful shot to bring them to within three. And that's just a great individual play right through the teeth of the defense. And it's Williams with the ball for Louisville. Three-point lead. Pass to Sutton. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Fresh. Misses the three. Guys, a critical time for them in this ballgame. Hey, you got to play mistake-free. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Out to the right wing. Here's the general. No good from three-point territory. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Now a timeout called by the Cardinals. They're up by three. Six seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. He's off on the free throw and able to get that second one to drop in. 
Guys, your thoughts? And I'm sure the coach is telling them it ain't over till it's over. Yeah, but, but I don't know. Here's Hammonds. Money! And that shot brings them to within just one. The D a little bit too concerned about the ball going inside on the inbound play. They forgot to guard that perimeter. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And he does get the second one. And that will put them up by two. Guys, what do you think? And with under two seconds remaining, they need something quick. Don't have time for an extra pass here, but they want to try for a three off the inbound play and go for the win. Definitely doable. the general oh that shot had a chance but no good so it's Louisville taking a W in a close one what a show they put on here at home tonight I mean these are those games that feel so great to win and and really it's like a knife in the gut to lose uh, you, you gotta love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's gonna happen how is this thing gonna play out and that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.